Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, we're gonna install KO Reader on the Remarkable 2. There has been some major advancements with getting KO Reader up and functioning on the Remarkable 2 in the last couple of days, and thanks to DDVK, I think there's a very simple solution that should be easy for just about everyone. I've previously installed it on my Remarkable 1, but the Remarkable 2 posed a little bit of a challenge for the hacking community because they changed the way content is written to the display of the device. Uh, so there were some frame buffer modifications that had to be done. And, uh, and DDVK thankfully has figured out uh, how to make it very easy for us to not only install, but also access the KO Reader um, application, which will allow you to read books, EPUBs, uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of different uh, versions it can read, but it's a much better reader than anything that's built into Remarkable um, as it is. So we're gonna go through this process. You do not have to have previously hacked your device, um, but I have done a video on hacking the Remarkable 2, which will go into a lot more detail on this connection process. I'm gonna go through that pretty quickly in this video. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, and quite frankly, if you're, if you're new to this, I'd recommend you go watch that video first. I'll put a link uh, up in the corner uh, and then down in the video description so that you can find it. Um, but for now, just know that I am connected to Wi-Fi uh, on the same network on both my laptop and my Remarkable 2. And you can connect via USB. If you do that, uh, what you're gonna come do is get into the settings and under storage, uh, click this button that says USB web interface. I'm not doing that because I'm just gonna do this via Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go to help and then copyrights and licenses. And then down here, you'll see I have the IP address I need to connect to and the password. I highly recommend you write this password down and keep it in a safe place. Uh, it's very important that, uh, that you know that password at all times, even if you can't get to this screen. And quite frankly, look, if you have a problem and uh, you're not sure what you're doing or you're not able to, don't factory reset your device thinking that it's gonna fix everything because what that's gonna do is change that password. And if your install is broke for whatever reason, now not only are you having trouble getting to the display, you've now changed the password that you need to get in. So don't panic and factory reset, go to the community, go to Reddit, go to Facebook, ask for help. Somebody will help you get sorted. But this is pretty painless. Uh, it's actually very safe. Uh, and there's even a way to completely uninstall it and revert back. So I will put the link to the page I'm on now, the GitHub page, where I'm getting this information from. And I'll also put this installation uh, line right here uh, in that um, description as well, because this is all we're gonna run to install this. What that's gonna do is go in, it's gonna download KO Reader if you don't already have it installed. It's gonna download what it needs for the frame buffer uh, conversion stuff. It's gonna download uh, a little application to inject touch gestures so that you can uh, use the swipe up to switch back and forth between uh, the Remarkable 2 and the KO Reader. And then finally, uh, I'll move a book over so that we can check that out. So first thing I wanna do here is go into my uh, command prompt. So I go to the search bar, type CMD, I get my command prompt and I can just open that up. I am now going to SSH space root at my IP address, 192.168.86.229. That's my internal uh, IP address. Again, you're gonna have a 10.1. something if you're connected USB, but do remember you still have to be connected to Wi-Fi. Um, for this process to work because the script we're gonna run is gonna use Wi-Fi to go out to the internet, grab everything it needs to install. So I'm gonna hit return here. It's asking for my password, which I'm going to enter under the cloak of darkness. Okay, and now I am in my Remarkable 2. And I need to do one thing, and that is come back over here, uh, either to this page or you can use the uh, the content that I have in the video description and just copy all of that. I'm doing control C on that and make sure you get the last quotation mark. Come back over there to the command prompt and I'm just gonna right click. And by right clicking, I'm gonna paste that in there and I'm doing SH space dash C space and then this whole line in quotation marks. Basically what that's doing is pointing to that auto underscore rm2.sh shell script, which is gonna do all of the magical stuff in the background. They've really made this easy. I'm gonna hit enter. And what it's doing now is it is recognizing that I need KO Reader. It's grabbing KO Reader for me. It is now installing 
uh, KO Reader onto my Remarkable 2. And uh, now it's installing the libraries for the frame buffer and then installing the touch injector and the swipe up script and uh, bada boom, bada bing, it is done just like that. I can uh, exit out of here and I can close that window out. And now on the Remarkable, just go ahead and back here uh, just to get to a clean place that everybody's familiar with. Watch this swipe up. Look what happens. KO Reader. Check that out. So, swipe up again. It's going to close out KO Reader. Open back up the Remarkable app. All right, so now let's get a book over uh, to, uh, to do a, a show and tell on. So, the way um, I do that is with an application called WinSCP. WinSCP is basically a graphical uh, GUI based um, uh, secure copy program that will allow me to copy data over directly to the Remarkable. So I'm gonna connect to the Remarkable using the same uh, host name, root is the username and the same password that we used before. And then now I'm connected in there and what I'm going to do, I'm in the home uh, slash root directory, and that's where I want to stay. I am going to come in here and create a new folder, a uh, new directory, and just call it books. That way, um, I have a place that I can put all of my books that I want to read um, on the Remarkable. And then um, I have some books um, that I have um, purchased, uh, and, uh, and I have converted them to EPUB so that I can read them on my Kindle or read them here. Uh, this book is really cool, Humble Pie by Matt Parker. Um, so I'm gonna take the EPUB file. Uh, I'm just gonna drag that over to the books folder so that I can uh, have that EPUB where I know I can find it. Uh, and there we go. So um, Humble Pie is in home root books. Go ahead and close this out for now because that's the only book I'm gonna move over for now. And then back over here in the Remarkable, Long Swipe Up is going to get me access to the KO Reader. And uh, it starts out with this quick start guide, which you can read if you want to learn more um, about the, um, the KO Reader installation. I'm going to go to this little file cabinet looking thing, which is my library. And you can see here I have a folder called Books because I created it. And in there is my ebook, Humble Pie by Matt Parker. Again, I bought this uh, and then converted it so that I can use it uh, outside of the Kindle environment. And now there we go. I am in my ebook. So yeah, uh, it's pretty awesome. When I want to go back into the Remarkable, just upswipe. The one catch is it does um, take you back to your, um, your files uh, display. So if I have a book open, uh, let, let me open up Quick Sheets here. I've got Quick Sheets open. If I swipe back up to go into KO Reader, it's going to take me back to home. So I've lost my place there. But I'm going to swipe back up, go back into the Remarkable. And I'm back at my file list. So as you can see, there's still a little bit of quirkiness on going back and forth. So I think that that can be resolved by uh, installing the Remux launcher, which um, is my favorite launcher. But for now, um, this doesn't require any additional launcher. It's literally just a swipe up and uh, and you're you're switching back again. It's you know, if you're looking to quickly bounce back and forth between uh, your book content and your note content. This may not be the best option, but this is a quick way to get you uh, into uh, your ebooks if you want to read on the Remarkable. Definitely better functionality than we've seen before KO Reader was available. So, yeah, that's it. That's installing KO Reader on Remarkable. You know, it is what it is. It is a hack. It's a workaround. It's trying to make a device that doesn't have a good uh, uh, reading capability and injecting literally a reading capability into it. Um, so yeah, if this works for you, then great. You're done. It was super easy. If you do want to in uninstall it, uh, you can just literally go back uh, to that page 
and, uh, and use the uninstall instructions. I will put those also in the video description. Pretty easy, SSH back in, type in those commands or copy and paste them one after the other, and then it will, it will do that for you. So uh, that's it guys. That's what I wanted to show you. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to let me know, but yeah, that's really it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one.